Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is kind of a twofer. I want to talk about Blend Bunny and my friend Dee Dee asked me if I could do a rankings video and I can't do rankings. I, my brain cannot pick favorites among pretty much anything. Um, but I said I could do like a, what I love about each palette video. And she said that was fine. That would totally work for her. So that's what we're doing today. And just my thoughts on Blend Bunny as a brand overall. So if you're interested in that, so if you're interested in that, stick around. We're going to get into it. If you're not already subscribed, you should do that now. I upload several videos every week. If you click on the little bell and choose all, YouTube will notify you when I upload a new one. And then you can choose to watch it or not. It's totally up to you. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me. All right, so I've pulled up a random number generator on my cellular device. And I thought we could just do an eyeshadow palette bingo with the six palettes I do have. I don't have the four pan trove palette. It was the multi-chrome palette they just released with the lure palette. And they all looked beautiful and I really liked it. I already had some loose multi-chromes and I wasn't really reaching for them. And so I figured I didn't need the Trove palette if I wasn't reaching for the ones I already owned. But then the thing happened and Tamina <laughs> released a bundle of multi-chromes and I got that. And now I'm thinking, do I need the Blend Bunny one? <sighs> I don't know. Multi-chrome eyeshadows are definitely on the more expensive side just because of what they are. They're more expensive to make, blah, 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 all the things. So I don't have the Trove palette. I may pick it up at some point. I haven't made a decision yet, but it is available for pre-order right now if you're interested in it and didn't get it. So, all right, we're going to go through and pick one shade from each palette and do an eyeshadow palette bingo. Okay, real quick before we get into this, I do wanna say if you're interested in what's on the rest of my face, I'll tell you everything at the end of the video, uh, but there's also a video coming or already up on my channel. If it's already up, I'll link it in the description box along with all the other things that are always linked down there. But we're gonna start with the All Done Up palette. This little 20 pan palette is so pretty. Like, wow, this screams natural, neutral, everyday wearable, but with just a little bit more, you know, something that makes it more than just a neutral palette. So I've pulled up a random number generator on my phone. It has a minimum of one, maximum of 20, because it's a 20 pan palette. And we shall generate, all right, number 11, 10, 11. Okay, this is upside down, so 5, 10, 11, which is smoking. That's going to be pretty cool. I do like a dark shade for deepening up. So I'm going to swatch each of these on the back of my hand. One, so you can see what they look like. And two, so I can see what I'm got what I'm doing. Otherwise, I will get very, very confused. Next, we have the Lure palette, which is the newest in their line of palettes. And this is what that one looks like. Beautiful. Six shimmers, the rest mattes. So, so, so gorgeous. Definitely oceanic themed. I think they did a good job naming this palette. And this one has 24 shades. So let me adjust the max number. All right, so we're up to 24 and we got the number 10. So number 10 is this shade right here called Lost at Sea. That's what Lost at Sea looks like. Next up, we have the Dollhouse palette. This is actually the first one I ever purchased. I wasn't sure if I was 
the kind of person who could use colorful eyeshadows, but this one is, again, very neutral, wearable, but with a little something else that just makes it amazing. And this is a 30 pan palette. So we're going to adjust the number again. And then generate number 12. So we got the shade right here called Porcelain. And that's porcelain swatched on my hand. That'll be a beautiful blending out or transition area kind of a shade. So very cool. Next up we have Primal. This is a very colorful, very fun palette. Again, oop, matte heavy, which is how Blend Money does it and I'm a huge fan of that. And I guess, you know, makeup artists, people who play makeup and create amazing looks requested more black and white in their palette. So that's what they did. And I think that's very cool. Blend Bunny seems like the kind of brand who listens to their consumers. So we've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 26. Let me just change that number to 26. Oh, what the frilly heck are we doing? Two, all right, switched it to 26. Number three. Oh, I really like this shade. I don't know how it's going to work with. We got Prey right here, this really beautiful pastel yellow. Okay, there's Prey swatched out. Next up, we have Blends, which was their very first palette that they released. And this is an all matte, all the colors, rainbow-ish palette. So let's see. Oh, we're back up to 30 pans. Let me fix the number again. All right, let's see what we get this one. Number eight. We got Wildflower right there. So let me swatch that one. Okay, that's, that's thrown a little bit of an interesting twist into this color story. And the last palette I have is Surge. Again, another beautiful palette. This one screams play, play, play to me. It's just stunning. So let's see what shade we get with this one. Number 18. All right, so we've got 6, 12, 18. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is it called? We got the shade right here called Lush. So let me swatch that. That's what Lush looks like right there. And that's all of the shades that I got. <laughs> all right, I'm going to pop off camera really quickly, try to figure out a look I can create with these shades, throw on some um, eyeshadow tape, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we can do. Okie dokie, I think I've worked out a look. I'm going to use all of these shades. I think I'm gonna go with the bluish one and the black one on my lower lash line, outer corner, middle of my lid and transition, inner corner and inner lid, and then uh, transition to under my brow. I think that is going to work out best. <laughs> It's just, it's so funny, the shades that I picked. So um, I definitely used my Blend Bunny tape for my eyes. This stuff is really, really good. If you're looking for something like this, 
I would recommend. It goes on very easily. It doesn't tug at my skin. It doesn't remove the product underneath it. I might have to go over and add a bit more highlight or something, but it doesn't disrupt my foundation or concealer or anything like that. And I pulled all of my brushes. Um, I did recently talk about my Blend Bunny stuff and I love these brushes. Right now, Blend Bunny is selling them buy one, get one free. There has been, I guess, an issue with the ferrule coming loose from the handle. It happened to one of mine. I just put some lash glue on it and put it back together and it's good as new. I do want to mention, which I completely forgot about in the video where I talked about these, is that my number five, which is the biggest brush, I actually ran over and I squished it a little bit so it's not as round as it would be if you didn't run it over. Um, but turns out kind of running it over made it a nice, almost flat kind of fluffy brush. So. And if you don't know, all the brushes are numbered. Um, the lightest one is the biggest, the darkest one is the smallest, and uh, usually like a, a pretty good rule to follow, especially if you have smaller hooded eyes, is the bigger the brush, the lighter the color, the smaller the brush, the darker the color. And that way you have a bit more control and you know can really pinpoint where you're putting powder you know, eyeshadow. So I'm going to take the blends palette first and we got the shade. No, I'm not taking blends first. I'm taking surge first. I have them in the wrong order. <clears throat> yes. So I'm taking surge first in the shade lush as my outer. <sighs> I keep dropping that dang palette. That's why it was on top. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to break one of the rules and use the bigger brush for the dark shade, the darkest I'm using on my upper lid because I'm going to do a much bigger area. So I'm going to just start pressing that on. My face is done, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. I'm already getting fallout though because I'm not being careful enough. Okay. <laughs> Let me just... Clean that up real quick. And I'm wiping off the rest of the shade, or the rest of the eyeshadow off my brush. So I can just blend, blend, blend. All that's on my eyes right now is just a little bit of concealer from when I did my face earlier. Look how beautifully that blends. It's just effortless. And while the dropping my palette is fresh in my mind, when I got my Odin's Eye singles, I had them on the edge of my desk with one of, I think it was the Blends palette because I was doing a look and I had all of the Odin's Eyes were shimmers. I needed a matte. So the Blends palette is amazing for just matte eyeshadows. And everything fell off my desk. It was in a pile. The Blends palette, the Odin's Eye palettes, everything the Blend Bunny highlighting palette. It was all there together and everything fell off and some of the Odin's eyes, eyeshadows broke, but the Blend Bunnies were absolutely perfect. Nothing, nothing broke. So this cardboard packaging is excellent. I love it so much. Look at that. I mean, so, so easy. Boy, howdy. Okay, I'm gonna clean my brush off really well. And then we're gonna dip into the Dollhouse palette just to further blend that out towards the brow. So now we're gonna use that porcelain shade from the Dollhouse palette. I forgot to talk about Surge. Gosh darn it. So this, this Dollhouse palette is really really beautiful and the way blend bunny does the columns of you know the different shades or depths of shade or what have you in each column i just think is 
so smart. If you've been here before, you know I'm a huge fan of Nomad because of how they put eyeshadows together and the quality and all the things. I feel the same way about Blend Bunny. They are at the top of my list of <clears throat> favorite makeup brands. I believe they made the list of brands I would love to receive PR from. I just, I have genuinely really enjoyed every single product that I've used from Blend Bunny and I've used a little bit of every single thing they have. I even have the tumbler, the <laughs> drinking cup. I like I have everything. I'm going to go back into Lush just a little bit. This Lush palette is just so fun and playful to me. I think you can do so much with this palette. You've got shimmers and mattes, you've got neons and pastels. And I know Shawnee has said that some of the pastels don't work great for her. She has very dark skin and you know, that makes sense. But some of the pastels do work for her, which I think is so cool. Like they are pigmented, but incredibly easy to use and blend and put colors together. I just can't say enough good things about it. And I mean, look at this, the columns going up and down. You've got it all. This palette is so, so, so fun, in my opinion. I just think, you know, if you are a super creative person or you like super bold, fun makeup, this palette is amazing, which is one of my favorite things about it. And the Dollhouse palette, absolutely fantastic for wearable looks, but that are just a little bit more, more fun, more interesting. It's just more, and I really, really like that. All right, next we're gonna go with the blends and the shade Wildflower. And I'm just gonna clean off that brush again and keep using it for now. This, the blends palette is absolutely fantastic for an all matte palette that you might need or want in your makeup stash because it has a little bit of everything as far as like color goes. You've got everything from white and black to this kind of bright green. And, you know, depending on what you pair it with, you can create all kinds of looks. I don't know anything about the owner of Blend Bunny, but if I had to guess, if I had to say there was one glaringly obvious thing is she is definitely artistic and knows how to create uh, eyeshadow palettes that encourage creativity. Because like I said, I never bought any of these initially. I didn't know if I could, you know, if I had the talent or the know-how or even just the ability to put such bright, fun shades on my eyes. And this one, I mean, if you were looking to create a super versatile, well-rounded, like capsule makeup collection, the blends palette would be perfect for you because it has a little bit of everything. And because it has the black and the white, you can deepen or lighten every shade in the palette. And I think that's just so clever. I think her name is Maggie. I think I've heard people say her name is Maggie. Um, clearly knows what she is doing, which blows my mind because I haven't got a creative cell in my body. Okay, now we're gonna go into Primal in the shade Prey, right down here. I love this shade 
so much. And I'm going to take the number four, which is just a little round blending brush. And that's gonna go all in here and I'm really gonna pack it on. Sometimes when I'm feeling a bit extra or I want some real like wha-bam for my eyeshadow, I'll use a white eyeshadow primer to get the full pigmentation. But look at that. On just skin tone skin, you know, obviously Caucasian on the lighter side of, you know, tan-ish. I can tan in the summer. It shows up really, really nicely. I'm going to take that all the way in to my inner corner. We didn't get a shimmer shade and I do really like a matte inner corner. So that's what I'm doing there. And I'm just going to bring it up to meet that transition shade that we can't really see. So pretty. And I'm just going to blend the edges like I always do. And if you're new here, <laughs> I have hooded eyes. So I take all of my lid shades up past my crease. If I didn't, you wouldn't see them again when I look straight ahead. So that's just how I have to do it for my eye shape. And these eyeshadow palettes are just so fun. They're so fun. They make me want to play. And I'm, like I said, I am not creative. I am not a makeup artist. I am a middle-aged woman who just likes makeup. But this makes me feel like I can do stuff and have it look nice or fun or funky or you know whatever i'm going for look at that i just really like it i'm gonna blend over the edge of this a little bit more because it needs it a bit i'm gonna go off camera and line my waterline throw on some lashes mascara all of that and then I'll come back and we can do the lower lash line with that blue shade and the black shade the last two shades that we picked okay I'm back and I lined my waterline with the last of my LA girl black liner and had to do my lower lash line with this Sephora uh, matte black eyeliner it's very nice I'm glad I have it and I will use it my lashes are a Blend Bunny Lash. Mike got these for me for my birthday along with the Noctilucent palette. They're a big lash, um, probably not for everyone, and they may not even be great for me, but I kind of like them, so I'm wearing them. All right, let's finish up the last two palettes. Next up is the All Done Up palette. This is gonna go on the outer portion of my lower lash line because we got the shade Smokin'. So this palette is, again, just a really good palette. It's incredibly pigmented and blendable and lovely. And definitely more of an everyday, you know, neutral, natural-ish uh, color story which if that's your thing, that's perfect. The quality cannot be faulted at all. These are fantastic. I'm trying to be really careful with this black. <laughs> I don't want to get it all over my face. I think this would be a beautiful fall palette. Like if you just wanted something on the, I'd say these are mid-sized, you know, not too big, not too small, not shimmer heavy, um, just really nice. I think these are great colors for fall. You know, honestly, people say that and it's true. Like there are some palettes that do definitely have more of a seasonal feel to them. 
but I think you can wear any color anytime you want to. All right, and last up, we have the Lure palette and the shade Lost at Sea. I'm gonna use that on the rest of my lower lash line to meet up with the Prey shade on the inner corner. Same brush, I'm just laying it off on my handy dandy towel. I decided to just leave these little towels linked in the description box. I think they're amazing. I've talked about them before. I've been thinking about doing, should I do like an Amazon video? All the cool kids on the YouTubes are doing it. Mine wouldn't be cool. Mine would be the kind that speak to your need to keep, keep, keep things clean heart and things like that. So let me know. I don't want to waste your time, but I found some really good things that I would definitely recommend. All right. So we're taking the blue. Ever so carefully. And I'm just going to build this up a little at a time on my lower lash line. Would I normally pair these colors together? Probably not. Look how bright that is. Just, oh gosh. And I'm using the B2 brush for both the black and this blue. I'm really just packing it on. And when I was being careful, I really wasn't getting any fallout to speak of. I'm just going to blend the two in the middle. And that's the look. I'm going to put on some Cali Ray come hell or high water mascara. And then I thought I would come back and use my Blend Bunny Lip Duo and the Blend Bunny Noctilucent Highlight Palette. And then if you feel like it, stick around for a minute, I'll go over each of these palettes again, just like a quick little synopsis of my personal thoughts. And then we can wrap this up. I was just kidding. I can't line my lips on camera. I have to get too close to the mirror to see. But that's another piece to Blend Bunny that I definitely respect and appreciate. When they did their lip liners, the information that was supposed to be on the packaging wasn't. And I feel like they could have just sold them. Like, whoops, it's not there. It'll be there next time. But instead, they launched with the lip liners as like a twofer with the lipstick. So I got the shade Haunting, both in the liner and the lipstick. Lini picked this out for me. So it's the only one I have right now. Um, but I just think, how cool is that? I don't think they necessarily had to do that. They just chose to. And I think that's, I think it says a lot about the people or person behind the brand, that that was the choice they decided to go with. And that makes me want to purchase from the brand. Brands who are doing good things, even if it's not necessarily the best thing ever for them in that moment, that says a lot to me about them. And I think they're a brand I want to support. So there's the lip duo. Beautiful. Wears like liquid lipstick. It's comfortable. The lip liner is incredibly creamy and lovely to wear. So let's just slap on some of the highlighter. I have used this. I can't say daily at this point because I have been trying to mix it up a bit and there are a few that I really do like as much as this. Mm, as much, Jan, really? Almost as much, but for completely different reasons. Like these are knock your socks off in your face highlighters. Like <laughs> they're not playing around. I'm just going to scoot you back and grab a brush real quick. I grabbed a Refer 16 eyeshadow brush because my highlight brushes are, well, over there and the ones I normally use are dirty. So this is the highlight palette in case you haven't seen it or haven't seen it recently. I love every one of these shades, every single one. So I think we're going to go in with 
this one right here. It's called Enlighten. It's yellow. And I think that will be very, very fun with the look I have. The eye look I've got going. I can't see my hair. What happened? There we go. Now I can see. These are very sparkly, very, very dramatic highlighters. But, oh, oops, that's the wrong one. They're so pretty, though. Like, whew, they're pretty. Mm. Love, love, love it. I keep going to the wrong one. When I look down at it, you can't tell what color is what. It's so funny. Just gonna do a little on the schnoz. And then just the tiniest bit along my brow. I will say this isn't, I don't love this highlight formula for my Cupid's bow. It ends up looking a little bit chunky because they are incredibly sparkly uh, shades. Like, they're stunning. I love them so much. So I think that's everything that I have from them. Highlighter, lip, the brushes. So, okay, real quick synopsis. If you're looking for brushes, they are still available and they still are basically buy one, get one free. So if you order one at $32, they're gonna send you a whole nother set because the barrel has been coming loose on some of the brushes. They want to make it right and they, I guess, have figured out a new glue or whatever. So they're redoing the brush handle portion. I think these are great synthetic brushes. They're soft. They apply eyeshadow beautifully, no complaints. I thought about getting another set of brushes, then that would make I have three and I don't need any brushes. And I think, you know, as much as I like them and use them, I'm not gonna order more. Somebody else probably could use them more than me. So as far as the lip stuff, I would definitely love to have more of the lip products and, um, I clearly love the highlighter so much. So let's just go through real quick. Surge, super fun. I mean, just holy moly, the looks you could create. The, I just can't. You can do neutral with this and wearable for sure, but that you can also go full on clown makeup if you want to. It's gorgeous. Next, we have a dollhouse. And if you're looking for a neutral palette that can take you there and a little farther, this is it. It's absolutely stunning. You've got the super dark shades, you've got the mid-tone shades, you've got the pastels, you've got these really beautiful lighter shimmers and then these you know, darker, gorgeous shimmers down here. I think this palette is probably perfection for a neutral eyeshadow palette that covers the majority of the neutral bases. And then we have blends. I'm not gonna spend too long on this one because I've already said, I mean, basically it's the perfect capsule palette. Like you can't, you can create pretty much anything matte with this look or with this palette rather. And you know, it's just, it's just great. And then we have Primal. Again, super creative. You can stay in the columns and do monochromatic looks that are lovely. You can boop into different shades and different columns and create your own fun looks. It's just lovely. Again, the bigger black and white pans mean you can mix and match, lighten and darken, do what you want, which I think is very, very cool. Like these palettes are made for people who want to play and do what they want to do, how they want to do it. And I think that's fantastic. And then we have All Done Up, beautiful, small, neutral palette. Great for fall, you know, great for every day, great for whatever you want it to be for. They're fantastic. I have said before, they don't have my favorite shimmer shade, but I have much older eyelids. On the inner corner, they're gorgeous. On the lower lash line, they're gorgeous. On the brow bone, they're gorgeous. 
But if you have super wrinkly or textured eyelids, they may not be your favorite. So I think it's wonderful that there aren't that many shades. And we have the Lore. Like, just stunning, all the things. The columns up and down, you can boop around. These shimmers are, I mean, as far as shimmers go, they're very, very, very nice in all of these palettes. Um, but like I said, for me and my eyelids, they are fantastic. Inner corner, lower lash line. They're beautiful, and I love that there's not so many that it feels like an excessive amount that you can't use. Because if you can only use it on your inner corner, well, there's only one row. There's two in the dollhouse, but the rest only have the one row. And it doesn't feel wasteful or excessive. It's just amazing. The tape, great. Great, great, great. It, when I place an order with Blend Bunny again for whatever I happen to order, I will always include a roll of tape. This is excellent. I can't do winged eyeliner. I have very hooded eyes and zero talent. So... The tape just helps me kind of fake it a little bit, which I like. It's fun to be able to do slightly different looks. So I like it. And I think that's everything. I don't know how helpful this was, Dee Dee. Hopefully <laughs> I gave you enough information to help you decide what you need or don't need in your life. I don't think anybody needs any of this, but if you want it, I don't think you'd be sorry purchasing anything from Blend Bunny, from the lip stuff to the blush, to the brushes, the eyeshadows, the highlighter. If Blend Bunny do a blush collection, I'm doomed. I'm gonna have to get like a real job and take my crippled butt out there and do something so I can make money to buy the blushes. <laughs> I just know in my heart if Blend Bunny do blushes. <sighs> Oh yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, so if you're curious what's on the rest of my face, I'll just blow through that really fast so you can get on with your day. My foundation is the Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin in the shade 14. My concealer is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Creme Brulee. This is almost gone. My contour is the Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken 5-in-1 Concealer in the shade 075 Hazelnut. My bronzer is the Huda Beauty uh, Light Tan Tour Bronzer Contour. My highlight was <laughs> the Hourglass in Golden Flash. And my powder is the NJC velvet finishing powder and my blush is this little rare beauty doobie in the shade joy again if this video is up already i'll link it below if it's not then come back and you'll be able to see it okay so thank you so much for hanging out with me today let me know what you think about this video do you have these palettes are there some you definitely want to get some you definitely can pass on i really enjoy chatting with you in the comment section i hope that you enjoyed this if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you being here and hanging out with me. Be good and remember to be kind to you.